Here on the coastal area that I'm involved with, giant rat's tail or the Parramatta species of grasses are becoming a real, real problem. They're, they're cutting back productivity. You know, some figures I saw the other day are close to 90 million alone and growing. Wild dogs, of course, are a real, real problem. Wild dogs are, well, here in this place, we lose five stud calves a year, no matter what we do. And of course, we get about four or five bitten, which downgrades them. So, and it, it's getting an ever-creasing problem. Everywhere you go, people talk about weeds and wild dogs. In these peri-urban areas, uh, it's impossible for us to get a permit to bait because of all the red tape with 1080. And uh, if we can get some of that, some relaxation in that uh, legislation, we can, we'll be able to get a bit of handle on, on the wild dogs. But we have to have a whole integrated uh, uh, approach, trapping, baiting and shooting. But we have to get all landlords, owners involved in a, a complete uh, cooperative treatment program. I think the incentive they need is left ref red tape. In a case of our property here, we've got to get 122 signatures. To, to get a baiting program and you can't get 90% of those, you can't get the 90% acceptability to do it. So we've got to have a look at the legislation as it is today. It would take a, a hell of a lot of uh, stress. It will give us uh, a productivity. If we've got stud heifers that, you know, we get up to 2,000 bucks for, that's 10,000 on a small farm here of 100 and say 40 breeders and most of those are studs. Um, you know, be a hell of a relief. And not only that, the weed problem, well, we'd, we'd spend 14, we'd spend 14 to 21 days spraying weeds here, just to keep, just to keep it productivity. But, you know, I know people in this district who spend five figures in the last five years. You know, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars they've spent.